Hey what is up everyone welcome to Effects Maniac this is Sayed Mahmoud Damiri and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to do this cool effect using Typeflow and 3D Studio Max so yeah we got a couple of different renders here before getting into today's video I do want to thank the sponsor of this video Chaos so Chaos Group is actually uh, you know the company who built V-Ray and Phoenix uh, so if you want to you know get these products and buy them you can definitely check out the link below in my description of this video and it'll help me out as well and you can get these awesome tools as well and if you want to get the project files for this I do want to thank my patreons here uh, people who have subscribed to my patreon page uh, you know you can support me and you will get some project files like this and a lot of other uh, project files for other tutorials so you'll get some pretty cool stuff along with you know supporting me as well in the process and if you're into After Effects tutorials make sure to go to my second channel AFX Maniac and support me there as well alright so enough talking let's get started I'm gonna go into 3D Studio Max and it is actually pretty simple so I'll go ahead first off I'll create a plane here and I'll go and right click on the X and Y position to make it in the center of the viewport hit R and scale it up real big so you know you want to make it big enough so uh, in the end you'll have room to sort of zoom out and get like different angles but in this case I think it's fine and I'm gonna hit F4 to see the edges of this and I'll go into the modify panel and I'll set this to like a hundred by a hundred you know segments on length and width so uh, the reason we want these many you know segments is because we want to place each particle on each of these vertices so we'll see in a moment so what I'm gonna do is go to my tie flow here just click and drag and I'll go and open the editor just scale this down a little bit uh, yeah just move it aside so I am going to give birth to some particles so give birth make sure to start and end set it to zero and then I'll go and add a shape so I want the sorry we can add the shape later but we want to add the position object operator and I'll go pick and this object so we want the particles to be on this object and the color is green we want it to be like white so we can see it better you can see that they're all over the place right we got 200 particles all over the place but we don't want it to be like this we want it to be uh, if you go into the location you'll set this to vertices in order and you can see that they're placed in order so uh, you know if I increase the number of particles to like what 2000 you'll see that we have those particles here as well so I found out that 10,000 is working pretty fine here so in order to fill this gap I may even go with uh, 10,500 yeah just fill it up and now we want to give each of these particles a shape which is going to be a cube so I'll go hit tab and type in shape and I'll drag it down here and I'll go to 3D and set it to cube and now if I go into display and set it to geometry you'll see that we have these small cubes here so we do want to scale them up and for that I'll use a scale operator hit tab by the way and by the way if you feel unfamiliar with Typeflow and these operators seem a bit strange to you or you're new to Typeflow you can go ahead into my channel and check out my Typeflow for absolute beginners tutorial so I did a couple of tutorials so you can go ahead and check this out I'll put the card somewhere here alright so what I'm gonna do is go back to my Typeflow here and scale this up uh, pretty big so that it pretty much fills the entire thing but what we don't want to do is uh, you just want to scale it up here and you can see that you know the horizontal spacing is just not fine so we can scale it up a little bit a bit more but what we can do is just uh, turn off this uniform scale and increase the X scale so that it fills you know those gaps between them so we want sort of like this you know so the next thing is to create a collision object so I'm gonna control right click and create a box here and just you know make it as much as you want so in this case I use the cube but you know you want to make it like big enough so that you can fit like a title uh, you know behind it so just like that 
and uh, I'm gonna go and I think this is pretty good so I'll just drop it down here I'll animate it hit N for the auto key or just click here and go to like 40 frames and animate it across the surface of this object turn off auto key and that's it and we also want to create a uh, control right click and create another plane for collision so I'll scale this up uh, sorry not that one this one and I'll go ahead set my render engine to V-Ray uh, so I'll go V-Ray close this and close this hit M because we just want to give give it like a simple material so just a standard legacy material and just like that alright so we want to add a collision operator because we want the particles to collide with the floor and with this box so I'll just drop it down here click on pick and pick the box and the plane so now you'll see that they are colliding with the box and the plane and we do want to select the original plane and just height right click height selection so right now you will see that they are sort of being moved by this uh, box but they're not really colliding with each other so what I'm going to do is I'll use the physics shape here and just drag it down here and I think that will basically do it so it may take a while to sort of sim but you can see it looks pretty nice here actually pretty good alright so we got our simulation done here yeah and that's basically our effect so if you go here yeah and you can see it sort of like cascades which looks pretty nice here so it's it's really cool and the next thing I did so our simulation is done here right I've also added like a spin operator here to make them a bit like spin while they're moving so it's just helpful you know so let this calculate and uh, yeah it just makes them spin right so it's uh, it's pretty good and I think it looks nice so now you can go and go into this view probably like here and hit control C and create a camera you should have probably made your sort of initial plane a bit bigger because we want to have a bigger field of view here but I think in this case it is fine uh, I just want to demonstrate the effect and now I can just uh, hide this and I'll go back to my tie flow and I'll go to here and I'll add hit tab and add a mesh uh, operator in order to see it better so we got the mesh and then for the lighting it's pretty simple so I just added like a big as you can see even in the render here see that we have a big light here right so we've added uh, a V-Ray light a plane it's pretty big but we do want to make it very you know low uh, the multiplier set it to like four and also we'll add a V-Ray dome light because we want everything to be sort of lit uh, evenly and we'll set this to like 0.3 here and now it's time to give a material for our Typhlo objects. Hit M and I'll go to V-Ray Material and I'll select my Typhlo and I'll apply this material. And I've actually used, you know, uh, the orange. You can use the orange or green or whatever color you want. Give it a bit of reflection and quite low on glossiness. Just like that. And now we'll see how it how it looks uh, on a on a rendered scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go and use the V-Ray IPR. So yeah, we can't see anything because the light is actually you know in front of the camera. So I'll just select the light here, V-Ray light, the plane, and go to options and make it invisible, so we can see our things a little better. And you can see they're looking pretty nice here. So yeah and you can go ahead and set the render settings and all that and just render a frame out and render your animation And yeah this is basically our effect and you can go ahead and render it out and to basically render this out and use you know composite it in After Effects I've basically like exported this and I made sure I went into so I'll just go ahead to the IPR go to the render setup and I've also added the 
back to beauty channel and also the crypto mat uh, in order to composite it back inside of After Effects. So I've used the crypto mat and I've used like a keying effect to key out that background color and I put my text you know under the particle so composited there added some motion blur and some color correction and of course some sound effects and it looks pretty nice so yeah this is basically our effect I hope you guys enjoyed it it was a pretty simple one and yet it's very useful so if you want to you know if you find it useful I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me you can definitely go and check out my patreon and get some cool project files as well and if you're into After Effects, you can definitely go and check out my After Effects channel. All right. So this was the today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. Till the next one, enjoy working.